good morning students welcome to this video previous class we will discuss about the structure of leaf you know like the veins and midrib and leaf variations you know the reticulate variation and parallel variation okay so this is about the structure of leaf so today we are going to talk about the function of leaf okay today we are going to talk about the functions of leaf the functions of leaf so the what are the main function of leaf the first one transpiration the first one transpiration and second one exchange of gas exchange of gas and third one photosynthesis so there is a three main function of leaves so what are the main function of leaf first one transpiration and second one exchange of gas and third one photosynthesis you know so the first one the transpiration that means just you recall the transpiration means nothing but that water is converted into vapor form that is called transpiration you know the transpiration means nothing but that water water is a liquid form you know the three state of matter you know liquid state and solid and gas you know the transpiration means nothing but the water you know the water is converted the water is converted into vapor the water is converted into vapor convert okay ma so the water is a liquid substance the water is a liquid substance this liquid substance is converted into vapor so this is a gaseous form so the transpiration is nothing but the water substance is converted into vapor that is called the transpiration okay and second one i will explain later and second one the exchange of gas you know the already you know the leaves have some tiny pore structure that is called stomata you know it is called what stomata so the leaves you know leaves the during the photosynthesis time you know when leaves it can prepare the food during the photosynthesis time during the photosynthesis time so this time plant it can okay so plant it can exchange the gas okay the leaves is give out the oxygen and take the carbon dioxide okay so there is a exchange of gas and photosynthesis the photosynthesis will be nothing but leaves it can prepare the own food so the process of photosynthesis with the help of chlorophyll and water and carbon dioxide is present in sunlight so this process is known as called photosynthesis this process is known as called what photosynthesis you know how you prove the transpiration okay do one kind of activity do one kind of activity okay you know the how to prove the, the process of transpiration process of transpiration okay first you take one herb you know first you take one herb plant okay and second one pollen bag second one the pollen bag okay and third one string okay in this activity record some things what are the things herbs and pollen bag and string okay so now do this when you do this activity this activity do during the day time because of sunlight is very important 
okay wow some ladies very important for this activity okay wow so use the healthy plant use your healthy well watered plant used for this activity he used the healthy as well as the well watered plant used for this activity okay wow so plant has been growing in the sand for this activity the plant it will be has been grown in the sun in this activity so first what you do take one health plant the take one health plant and take one polythin bag and tie it on the leaf in the mouth of the leaf pigeons okay so first you take the health plant first you take the health plant and use the polythene cover and use the polythene bag use the polythene bag and tie it in the mouth and show the figure the 7.11 okay and take one another empty polythene bag first you take one here and you enclose the leaves and tie it okay and take one another one polythene bag without herbs and tie it and keep under the sunlight keep under the sunlight okay so observe after few hours observe after few hours did you see any droplet in inside the polythene bag did you see any droplet in inside the polythene bag if you ask me what is the main reason okay so we will take the two kinds of polythene bag you know the one polythene bag is already covered along with leaves and another one polythene bag is yeah without leaves we will cover it okay definitely did you see some of the water droplet inside the polythene bag okay ma because that polythene bag is put in leaves where we keep we keep under the sunlight another one polythene bag without leaves so the one polythene bag with leaves covered with leaves and another one polythene bag without leaves so the two polythene bags where we keep we keep under the sunlight observe after few hours definitely reducing some of the water droplet in inside the polythene bag okay wow which polythene bag we will enclose the along with leaf you know so that polythene bag okay wow inside that polythene bag you have seen some of the water droplet because the main reason what the transpiration because the main reason what the transpiration the transpiration means here itself what do you meaning of the transpiration means something bad the water come out okay wow the transpiration means water come out the leaves in the form of vapor the water already told you know the evaporation means what the water is converted into vapor the water is a liquid substance and vapor is a gaseous substance you know the transpiration means nothing but here in the uh, leaf transpiration means the water come out the water come out in the leaves in the form of vapor in the form of vapor how will you come out how will you convert because through the sunlight with the help of sunlight so that's why the water it can start at the evaporate water can start at the evaporate and what process will be occurring inside that polythene bag is some of the water droplet is present in inside that polythene bag inside that polythene bag that process is called what the transpiration the transpiration means nothing but that water convert into liquid the water convert water convert into what vapor the water convert into vapor that process is called the what transpiration the process is called what the transpiration okay did you see that another one polythene bag without that herbs without the leaves you know 
did you see any water droplet inside the parking bag no because in that parking bag we never put in that any leaf okay we will never put in that leaf so that is only that the empty empty parking bag only okay ma in this bag if we will never see that such kind of the water droplet because in inside the parking bag that is the no leaf that is here nothing you know which kind of polythene bag did you see some of the water droplet we will put some the herbs or leaves in the inside the polythene bag you know so that polythene bag only we will see that some of the water droplet because the droplet is called that what is that it is called the uh, transpiration so the transpiration is nothing but the water okay ma that where will come out from the water from the leaf okay ma from the leaf the water is converted the water is converted into water vapor the water is converted into water vapor or gas okay ma in this process that is called what transpiration that is called what the transpiration okay in our the next class you will learn from you know the different status you know like that evaporation also is that condensation also is that okay ma yeah, evaporation and condensation also is that okay ma so we will learn that next class so in this class we have learned about the what is the meaning of the transpiration which is very important one more question the transpiration is something bad the water is a liquid substance you know the water is converted into vapor the water is converted into vapor in this process is known as called transpiration in the process known as called what the transpiration and the exchange of gas you know the actually the normally the when will place it can prepare the food during the photosynthesis time only when will photosynthesis process occur only the day time okay what the plant it can prepare the food during the day time only okay what in this time in this time the leaves are in that some the small the tiny pore structure you know that is called the stomata you know so that part it can use as of the exchange the gas exchange of gas okay what during the photosynthesis time during the photosynthesis time the plants getting that oxygen the plants get some plants getting that carbon dioxide and releasing that oxygen and releasing that oxygen okay that is the one of the function of leaves okay ma so one function transpiration is completed and next to one the exchange of gas okay ma so what gas we will exchange during the photosynthesis time keep in mind during the photosynthesis time leaves you know during the photosynthesis time leaves okay ma leaves give out oxygen and take out the carbon dioxide from atmosphere okay and next class we will discuss about photosynthesis okay